Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So it is now officially Cyber Week and I thought I would do a big collective haul. Um, it's kind of like an edit of all the pieces I think are worthwhile spending your money on. Um, everything on the rail is really good quality and I have tried to pick out pieces that are made from really good quality materials. Um, I won't be keeping everything everything I show you but as we go through I will obviously let you know what I'm keeping and what I'm returning but I would definitely recommend all of these pieces. Um, so I'm going to start off with knitwear. I try to stick to like three main winter categories so we've got knitwear and coats and then a little bit of tailoring at the end. Um, so the first knitwear piece I wanted to show you is a mohair and wool blend knit from H&M. Um, this literally just arrived this morning so it is brand new in. Um, it's really, really nice quality. Because it is mohair, it's definitely on the itchier side. Um, so if wool does bother you, then I probably wouldn't recommend this piece. Um, but I love the effect that mohair gives to a knit with these like little bits of like wool coming off. Um, I think it's so, so nice. I know H&M had one really similar a few months ago and it sold out straight away. Um, so definitely don't hesitate if you do like this one. Um, I personally will just wear a like bodysuit or like a thermal knit underneath to stop the itchiness. Um, but it's got a really nice high neck and then these slits at the side. Um, I did go for an extra small in this, but I do think I am going to return it and exchange for a small, um, just to give it a slouchier, more oversized feel. And then a second grey knit option I ordered is this one from Arquette. Um, now again, beautiful quality. This one is 100% wool. Um, I wouldn't say it is the softest fabric, but I don't think it's very itchy either. Um, so I'd say maybe a slightly more practical alternative to the H&M one, um, but it's going to keep you really, really warm as well. Um, I personally prefer the H&M just for that like mohair effect because I like how that looks and the texture that it brings. Um, but this one is really, really gorgeous too. Um, again, it is a high neck, but not a roll neck. And again, I picked it up in an extra small, but in hindsight, I would have sized up to a small in this one as well. And then the next knit is again from H&M. I actually have this one in the cream and black colorway, but they have recently brought it out in this like reverse black and cream. Um, it's such a nice knit. Um, this one is £50 and the wool content in there is really high. Um, it's a very thick knit and yeah, it's just beautiful quality again. Now my cream one I have in the size medium um, and it is a little bit too big for me. So I picked this one up in the small um, and it's the perfect amount of oversized. And I would definitely recommend picking this one up if you can get your hands on it. Um, H&M currently have 20% off for plus members by the time this video goes out which I'm hoping to get it up tomorrow and um, I'm not sure if that will have extended to everyone yet um, but if you can get £10 off this and get it for £40 then I really really would recommend and then another piece from H&M this knit is a strapless top with a peplum detail at the bottom and um, again it is so thick and really nice quality and on the back it has that sticky fabric to to keep it in shape. Um, I love the sweetheart neckline and um, it's very pronounced as well so it's really really flattering and so pretty and I think this is going to be such a great piece for the party season. You can pair it with trousers for an evening look and definitely dress it up with some sparkly earrings or sparkly heels. Moving on to some knit basics from Abercrombie who currently have 25% off across the website which is a really good deal and um, I think they do amazing basics and these are no exception they are literally the softest material ever and um, I've been wearing these non-stop since I got them and I'm actually thinking about ordering um, this piece in 
the black as well because they are just such a handy basic to have in your wardrobe and um, so they are quite tight fitting i have the cream and also the beige um, and i don't really need to tell you how to style these there are so many ways you can wear them and they just form a really great base layer to your winter outfits um, I love the real nook as well, so super cosy, um, so yeah, would definitely recommend these. And then the bodysuit that I am wearing is also from Abercrombie, and again, it's in that same really soft material. This just has the crossover detail at the front, and again, a really nice kind of like sweetheart square neck neckline. Um, again, I think I want to pick this one up in a couple more colours because I just think it is such a classic shape and makes you feel really put together when you're wearing it, but it also feels like you are wearing loungewear. The next knit, I feel like, is going to be a very popular one, and it's actually already sold out on the UK side. Um, so definitely keep your eye on this to see if there are any returns because this one is just literally my favourite thing I have bought in so, so long. Um, I absolutely love the Kate cardigans, but they are well over a thousand pounds. Um, and this piece from H&M was still quite pricey um, for H&M anyway. So it was £120, but it is a wool and cashmere blend. And you can definitely see the quality in this piece and the details are just beautiful. So similarly to the Kate cardigan, it does nip you in slightly at the waist, which I just think elevates the shape of the piece so much. Um, you've got some really nice tortoiseshell buttons down the front and then pockets and again really wide sleeves with a super wide cuff which I love. Um, so yeah I'm just obsessed with this piece. I've already worn it a few times and I cannot wait to continue styling this one up for winter. Nearly forgot to show you this one but I did also pick up this basic wool and cashmere blend knit from H&M. Um, I love having a few different basic black knits in my wardrobe because I just reach for them so often and this one is definitely a really good quality basic. With it having that cashmere in there, it is really soft and um, it's just a classic crew neck. There's not a whole load to say about this piece, but I have worn it so much already. And um, it does also have thumb holes, which is quite a nice detail, and it definitely keeps your hands warm. And um, obviously you can choose whether to wear it like that, or you can just like tuck them underneath and you can't really tell. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to include this one because I feel like Black Friday and Cyber Week is a really good time to pick up any cashmere or really nice quality basic essential pieces. And then the final piece is from Massimo Duty. Um, I've never actually bought anything from Massimo Duty across the Black Friday Cyber Week period, so I'm not sure what their offers are going to be. But I did just want to give this piece a mention because I love it so much. Um, I've been really enjoying styling this piece up because it is just something completely different and a really fun take on the boucle jacket trend. Um, whenever I put this on, I just instantly feel 10 times warmer and more snuggly. And I love the texture that this one brings to any outfit. Um, the gold button detailing is really nice and these are really good quality. And yeah, overall, I just love this piece. Um, it really reminds me of the Celine boucle jacket and I just feel like it's a really chic and different piece to have in my wardrobe. And then I do just have one top to show you, which is from Arquette. Um, I ordered this in white with black piping a few months ago now, and I included it in one of my previous hauls. Um, but as I said in that video, I did end up sending it back because it was really, really see-through. Um, so I'm so glad they brought it out in black because this one I can definitely get away with. Um, it's got the most gorgeous scoop back detailing and it really gives me kind of like vintage vibes and um, paired with either tailored trousers or jeans. I feel like this is just going to be such a nice smart casual piece to have in my wardrobe and I feel like it'll be really great for layering as well. Moving on to coats and 
this first piece is from H&M and again I feel like this is going to be one that's going to be very popular um, it's kind of like a coat and blazer hybrid so it is quite short in length but it is definitely thick like a coat and again it's got that kind of textured wool feel um, this one is 75% wool so really really nice quality um, it's lined with like a satin lining and you've got the Manteca Italian wool label inside um, along with a little inside pocket which I always appreciate um, it does have poppers as the closure which I don't completely love I would have preferred if they had put buttons in there um, but it doesn't take away from how much much I adore this jacket I just think it is so chic and whilst it was on the more expensive side for H&M I do actually think it looks more expensive than it was um, sizing wise I went for the extra small in this and it's definitely an oversized fit but I just think that is the style of the jacket um, because it does fit perfectly on my shoulders. So I would say to go true to size in this piece or you could potentially consider sizing down if you don't like your coats to fit quite oversized. Next up, we have a really practical purchase from Arquette. Um, I've been in the market for a new puffer coat for a while for just like everyday wear and um, for taking the dog out and things like that. And I came across this one on our pet and I thought it looked such nice quality and it is really, really padded. And um, quite a few that I come across just aren't padded enough for me and this one definitely is. It feels really thick and will 100% keep you warm throughout the winter. Um, it's also made from recycled down. Um, yeah, it is 100% recycled and um, it also has these little drawstring details at the waist so you can cinch it in and um, I like the fact that that gives it a bit of extra shape and just a bit of extra interest because obviously this is such a basic essential so it's nice to have that option to give it that little bit more shape. Um, the hood is also removable and I'd say it's kind of like mid thigh length. Um, the only thing I don't love about this piece is the fact that all the hardware is silver. Um, I would have preferred it personally if the um, zip was black, um, but that is just a personal preference and a minor detail. Um, but I do think I am definitely going to keep this piece. Um, I don't think our cats have actually started their Black Friday offers yet. But I would think it would be the same as H&M because they are from the same group. Um, so I think you'll be able to get 20% off across the website. So it'd be a really good time to pick up a basic piece like this. And then I've also been on the lookout for a grey wool coat. Because if you couldn't tell already, I am really loving grey at the minute. Um, so I actually bought three different ones to try and this first one is from Wheat Day. Um, it's a really nice wool blend coat, um, double breasted and then it's a herringbone wool material which is just so beautiful. Um, this is such a good quality piece and I really wish this one had worked out for me um, but unfortunately it is just a little bit too boxy and oversized. Um, I'd say if you are around a UK 8, then the extra small in this will be perfect on you. But I would also say that this would work best on someone who is a couple of inches taller than me. Um, I am 5 foot 2 and I just feel like this coat swamps me a little bit, um, which is such a shame because I love the colour, I love that herringbone detail and I love the tortoiseshell buttons as well. Um, and it is such a nice shape and a really great classic coat. Next up we have the grey coat. I'm going to keep which is from and other stories and it's just a really classic belted wool coat and um, this one is quite unstructured but then it does have these puff sleeves which I really like and um, you've got two big front pockets and then like the bigger lapels as well the reason I'm going to keep this one is because I feel like it just has the most about it um, I probably would have gone for the weekday one but obviously the fit issues are why I'm having to send that one back uh, but this one is an oversized fit but in my opinion it is not too oversized and um, I would say if you are in between sizes then I would personally size down 
Um, at first, I wasn't like overly keen on the colour because I was ideally looking for something that was a slightly darker grey. Um, but actually, wearing this with like charcoal grey colours does work really well. Um, I've worn it with these trousers and I feel like the grey tones really complement one another and just add a bit of depth and dimension to a tonal look. And then the final grey coat is from Mango and I actually already have this in the brown colour. Um, they bring it back year after year and I've had mine a good like four years or so now. Um, so I decided to try the grey version. Um, again, it is an unstructured fit and it's really nice quality wool. Um, like I said, I've had my brown one for many years and it's still looking good as new. Um, I really like the dark grey tone of this one as well. But the reason I'm going to return this one is A, I already have it in brown and B, because I would say it is the most simple design of the three and I just wanted something that was a little bit more interesting. Um, but I do think it is a beautiful coat and I went for the small in this one just so it was a little bit more oversized and I would say it's a really classic style uh, and definitely a great investment piece that you will bring out year after year. And then finally, I just have some trousers from H&M to show you. Um, so these are actually the exact same style as the pair I am wearing. Um, they are in slightly different fabrics. So the grey pair are in this really nice brushed fabric that feels so soft. Um, it literally feels like you are wearing joggers when you have these on. So I've been wearing them so much, even just around the house, because they make me feel really put together, but they're just so comfortable. Um, these ones are definitely a smarter fabric. Um, they've definitely got more of a tailored feel to them. So I think they would be perfect workwear trousers. Um, but I love them for every day as well. And I really, really love navy. I feel like it is so chic and a nice alternative to black. Um, because obviously we wear black so much throughout winter. So sometimes it can be nice to switch it up a little bit. Um, the style of these is probably my favourite style for a pair of trousers. Um, they're really high waisted with a thick waistband and um, they've got belt loops and then I would say they are a relaxed straight leg fit. Um, I love this style because it works with chunkier trainers. Um, right now I have these on with my ultra mini Uggs which again I think works um, but then they also work equally well dressed up with like heeled boots. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend these and um, I find that H&M trousers are always at a really great price point um, but they definitely don't skimp on the quality. So those are all the pieces I had to show you in today's haul. Um, I was thinking about doing separate hauls for different brands but I've decided that's not really my style. Like I prefer to show you a really well curated selection of pieces from multiple brands that I think are worthwhile investments for your wardrobe should you need to pick any new pieces up. Obviously Black Friday, I feel like it can be very overwhelming. I myself get overwhelmed, but I do feel like it is a really good time to pick up any pieces you do feel like you are missing from your wardrobe with the offers being so good. Um, so yeah, that is my edit. Um, please do let me know if you pick any of the pieces up. I would love to hear if you purchased any of them. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I do have a video coming next week with like, I think I'm gonna do 10 winter outfits and I will include a lot of these pieces in that video um, so you can see how I am styling them up. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.